Russian T-90S main battle tank. The T-90 is the latest development in the T-series of Russian tanks and represents an increase in firepower, mobility and protection. It is manufactured by the Uralvagonsavod plant in Nizhny Tagil, Potkin's bureau, of the Russian Federation. The T-90 is in service with the Russian Army and the Indian Army. In February 2001, the Indian Army signed a contract for 310 T-90 tanks. 124 were completed in Russia and the rest are being delivered in knockdown, semi-knockdown form for final assembly in India. The first of these was delivered in January 2004. The locally assembled tanks are christened Bishma. The tanks are fitted with the Shtora self-protection system and thermal images from Thales of France and Pelling of Belarus. In January 2005, it was announced that a further 91 T-90 tanks would be procured for the Russian army. 31 are due to be delivered in 2006. In March 2006, Algeria signed a contract for the supply of 180 T-90 tanks from Ural Vigonzavod, to be delivered by 2011. In November 2006, India ordered a further 300 D-90 tanks, to be licensed built by Heavy Vehicle Factory, HVF, of RD. Deliveries are to begin in 2008. History Derived from the T-72, the GPO Uralvagonzeva T-90 main battle tank is the most modern tank in the Russian Army's arsenal. The successor to T-72BM, the T-90 uses the gun and 1G46 gunner sights from T-80U, a new engine, and thermal sights. Protective measures include contact 5 era, laser warning receivers, and the Shtoro infrared ATGM jamming system. Contact 5 is a Russian type of third generation explosive reactive armor. It is the first type of era which is effectively able to defeat modern Pfst's rounds. Introduced on the T-80U tank in 1985, Contact 5 is made up of bricks of explosive sandwiched between two metal plates. The plates are arranged in such a way as to move sideways rapidly when the explosive detonates. This will force an incoming penetrator or shape charge jet to cut through more armor than the thickness of the plating itself, since new plating is constantly fed into the penetrating body. A penetrator will also be subjected to powerful sideways forces, which might be large enough to cut the rod into two or more pieces. This will significantly reduce the penetrating capabilities of the penetrator, since the penetrating force will be dissipated over a larger volume of armor. By 1992 the Russian Defense Ministry announced that it could no longer afford to manufacture two MBTs in parallel. Since both the quality T-80U and the cheaper quantity T-72B were each being built at one plant, and each plant was critical to the economy of the city it was in, the government gave small orders to both. Omsk built 5 T-80Rs and Nizhnytagil 15 T-72S, and both built more against the hope of winning large export orders. Nizhnytagil had built a few T-72BMS, T-72BS upgraded with a third generation add-on explosive reactive armor, ERA, called Contact 5, which was already in service on the T-80U MBT. Contact 5 has been succeeded by the newer Cactus type, which is currently only seen on prototype tanks such as the T-80 M2 Kyorny Oriole, Black Eagle, tank. To further improve the T-72S export prospects and its chances of being selected as Russia's sole production MBT, the T-80U's more sophisticated fire control system was also added to produce a vehicle designated T-72 Boo. Finally, since worldwide news coverage during Desert Storm had firmly established the image of the T-72 as a burning Iraqi tank, the new model was renamed T-90. The Russian Defense Ministry made a selection of a single MBT in 1995. The fighting in Grozny had been shown around the world and the reputation of Russian tanks suffered. Although many casualties were due to bad tactics and many T-72s were also lost, 
it was the knocked out T-80S which made an impression. More had been expected of the quality T-80 MBT. This is alleged to have tipped the balance against the T-80 in the selection. The T-80 was already more expensive and its delicate, fuel-hungry turbine engine was still giving problems. In January 1996, Colonel General A. L. A. Khan Vyalkin, Chief of the Main Armor Directorate of the Ministry of Defense, announced that the T-90 had been selected as the sole Russian MBT. The T-90 went into low-level production in 1993, based on a prototype designated as the T-88. The T-90 was developed by the Kartsev Venediktov Design Bureau at the Vaganka Works in Iznitagil. Initially thought by Western observers to be an entirely new design, the production model is in fact based on the T-72BM, with some added features from the T-80 series. The T-90 features a new generation of armor on its hull and turret. Two variants, the T-90 and T-90E, have been identified as possible export models. Plans called for all earlier models to be replaced with T-90s by the end of 1997, subject to funding availability. By mid-1996 some 107 T-90 shad gone into service in the Far Eastern Military District. Of conventional layout, the T-90 represents a major upgrade to every system in the T-72, including the main gun. The T-90 is an interim solution. Pending the introduction of the new Nizanitajil MBT which has been delayed due to lack of funding. Produced primarily mainly due to its lower cost, the T-90 will probably remain in low rate production to keep production lines open until newer designs become available. Several hundred of these tanks have been produced, with various estimates suggesting that between 100 and 300 are in service, primarily in the Far East. The T-90 retains the low silhouette of the earlier Soviet tanks. The glassy is well sloped, and is covered by second generation era bricks and a large transverse rib that extends horizontally across the glassy. The driver sits at the front of the hull and has a single piece hatch cover that opens to the right, in front of which is a single wide angle observation periscope. Integrated fuel cells and storage containers give a streamlined appearance to the fenders. The tank has a toothed shovel, dozer blade on the front of the hull beneath the glassy. There are attachment points beneath the blade for the KMT-6 mine clearing plow. The low, rounded turret is centered on the hull. The commander's cupola is on the right side of the turret, the gunner's hatch is on the left side. The 125mm main gun has a four-section removable thermal shield. It has two sections in front of and two sections to the rear of the mid-tube bore evacuator. A 7.62mm coaxial machine gun is mounted to the right of the mantlet. The T-90 mounts two infrared searchlights on either side of the main armament, these are part of the Shtoro ATGM defense system. The turret is covered with second generation reactive armor on the frontal arc. This era gives the turret an angled appearance with the era bricks forming a clamshell appearance. There are era bricks on the turret roof to provide protection from top attack weapons. There are banks of smoke mortars on either side of the turret. The second generation era package, combined with the advanced armor technology, makes the T-91 of the best protected main battle tanks in the world. Variants the year 1999 saw the appearance of a new model of T-90, featuring the fully welded turret of the Abect 187 experimental MBT instead of the cast design of the original T-90. This new model is called Vladimir in honor of T-90 chief designer Vladimir Potkin, who died in 1999. It is unknown how this design affects the protection and layout of the turret, and whether the frontal armor package was also extensively redesigned. Source: Vasily Fofinov's Modern Russian Armor Page There are at least three different variants of the T-90. 
The Russians confirmed the existence of an export variant in June 1996 with varying equipment and engine fits, and Russian promotional materials have discussed both the T-90S or C in the sometimes used Cyrillic non-translation, and the T-90SK command variant. The T-90SK command variant differs in radio and navigation equipment and a net remote detonation system for half rounds. The T-90 Vladimir, with a welded turret, is also referred to as T-90M, but it is not an official designation. The official designation for those tanks were T-90A, or T-90SM. Actually, all production T-90s from 2001 onwards have welded turrets. So it only seems logical to assume that the official designation now is T-90S or C, what is confirmed by the fact that all T-90S MBTs sold to India have welded turrets. There are also occasional references to a T-90E, but these appear to be unsubstantiated. T-90S MBT Characteristics the T-90 armament includes one 125mm 2A46M smoothbore gun, stabilized in two tank. axes and fitted with a thermal sleeve. The gun tube can be replaced without dismantling inside the turret. The gun can fire a variety of ammunition including APDS, armor-piercing discarding sabot, heat, high-explosive anti-tank, E-frag, high explosive fragmentation, as well as, the APAS, anti-personnel, ammunition, consisting of shrapnel projectiles with time fuses, by far the most widely used APAS round is a multi-purpose he slash he frag slash frag fin stabilized round. Its versatility has been lately further increased by introduction of a time fusing system, a net. Other APAS rounds include shrapnel and incendiary, but these are a lot less common. The 2A46 and 2A46M lines of main guns, internal designations D81T, D81TM, were developed by the Spetstechnika Design Bureau in Ekaterinburg, former Sverdlovsk, and are manufactured at the Motiv Liku artillery plant in Perm. The T-90 gun can also fire the 9M119 Reflux, NATO designation 8011 Sniper, or the 9M119M Reflux, NATO designation 8011 Sniper B, anti-tank guided missile system. The 9M119 missile comes in two variants, the 9K120 Sphere, which is fired by the T-72B, T-72S, and 2A45M anti-tank gun, and the Reflux, which is fired by the T-80B, T-80U, and T-90 main battle tank. The Reflux round is 4 kg heavier and has a 5,000 m maximum range, whereas the Sphere has a 4,000 m maximum range. The range of the missile is 100 m to 4,000 m and takes 11.7 seconds to reach maximum range. The system is intended to engage tanks fitted with ERA, explosive reactive armor, as well as low-flying air targets such as helicopters, at a range of up to 5 km. The missile system fires either the 9M119 or 9M119M missiles which have semi-automatic laser beam riding guidance and a hollow charge warhead. Missile weight is 23.4 kg. The gun's automatic loader will feed both ordnance and missiles. Due to high cost of the system, usually only elite regiments shall have those missiles in a loadout. The Reflux 9M119 AT-11 sniper laser guided missile with a hollow charge warhead is effective against both armored targets and low-flying helicopters. The missile, which can penetrate 700 mm of ray, out to 5000 meters, gives the T-90 stability to engage other vehicles and helicopters before they can engage the T-90S. The computerized fire control system and laser range finder, coupled with the new Agave gunner's thermal sight, permit the T-90 to engage targets while on the move and at night. However, this first-generation system is probably not as capable as current Western counterpart systems. The tank is fitted with precision-laying equipment and an automatic loader to guarantee a high rate of gunfire. 
also fitted is a coaxial 7.62mm PKT machine gun and a 12.7mm air defense machine gun. A 5.45mm AKS-74 assault rifle is carried on a storage rack. Fire control. The T-90 Shaz the 1A4 GT Integrated Fire Control System IFCS, which is automatic but with manual override for the commander. The IFCS contains the Gunners 1A43 Day Fire Control System, Gunners T01K01 Thermal Imaging Site which has a target identification range of 1.2 km to 1.5 km and Commander's PNKS Site. The Gunners 1A43 Day FCS comprises 1G46 Day Sight, Rangefinder with Missile Guidance Channel 2E42 4 Armament Stabilizer 1V528 Ballistic Computer and DVEBS Wind Gauge The Commander's PNK4S Sight includes a TKN4S, Agat S day, night sight which has identification ranges of 800 meters, day, and 700 meters, night. The driver is equipped with a TVN5 infrared night viewer. Protection. Underscore. The T-90s features the low silhouette of the earlier Russian tanks, with a low rounded turret centered on the hull, and is fitted with combined passive and active defenses which make the T-90 some of the best protected main battle tanks in the world. The glassy is covered by second generation explosive reactive armor, era, bricks, as is the turret. This era gives the turret an angled appearance, with the era bricks forming a clamshell appearance. Era bricks on the turret roof provide protection from top attack weapons. The T-90 is equipped with the Chu-17 Shtor-1 Optronic Countermeasures System, produced by Electronintorg of Russia, which is designed to disrupt the laser target designation and range finders of incoming ATGM. The T-90 is also equipped with a laser warning package that warns the tank crew when it is being laced. Tora 1 is an electro-optical jammer that jams the enemy's semi-automatic command to line of sight, SACLOs, anti-tank guided missiles, laser rangefinders and target designators. Tora 1 is actually a soft kill, or countermeasures system, which is most effective when used in tandem with a hard kill system such as the arena. Mobility the T-90 has a liquid-cooled V-84MS 618 kW, 840 horsepower, 4-stroke V-12 piston engine. This engine can be fueled by T-2 or TS-1 kerosene and A-72 benzene, in addition to diesel. The tank can carry up to 1,600 liters of fuel in the main fuel tanks and fuel drums. The fuel tanks are reinforced with armor plating. This engine results in a power to weight ratio of only 18.06 horsepower slash ton, considerably less than that of the T-80U. The tank is provided with a snorkel for deep fording and can ford 5 meters of water with equipment which can be deployed in 20 minutes, to negotiate 5 meter deep water obstacles. The mechanical transmission includes primary reduction gear, two planetary final gearboxes and two planetary final drives. The running gear features torsion bar suspension with hydraulic shock absorbers at one, two and six road wheel stations and tracks with rubber metallic pin hinges. The tank is also fitted with the NBC protection system and mounted mine clearing equipment. Specifications T-90S Main Battle Tank, Russia Length 9.53 meters Width 3.78 meters Height 2.225 meters Weight 46.5 tons Speed 70 km per hour, road 45 km per hour, off-road Range 550 km Primary armament 125mm smoothbore gun, firing up fsts, heat FS, heatfrag FS, and M119-9M 119M, 119M reflex ATGM. 
Secondary Armament 7.62mm Machine Gun in Coaxial Mount 12.7mm Anti-Aircraft MG Crew 3 Aircraft MG Crew 3 